So what is the wiki grow system? How it works? And what is the beauty behind it? Hi everyone, Marcelina here at CashewGreens.com. Thank you for watching this video. And once again, welcome back to my gardening channel. In today's episode, I'm going to introduce you to one of my best gardening methods that I use here in my garden. And I hope you guys watch this video and I would want you guys to stay with me for a while. English is not my first language, it's my second language, but just bear with me. And also before the end of the video, I'm going to share with you a, a few tips and good information on how this is, uh, the system works. So stay with me all the way to the end because there are important information that I'm going to share with you. And also I will show you how I create my sun path. So, Stay with me and also especially with those people, my friends, my family in the Philippines, and also friends in Germany, Hong Kong, England, and any other friends that live in different cities and different countries. So I hope you guys watch this video. I am new to YouTube, so as you can see, I have only 23 subscribers. And uh, so thank you YouTube for bringing us together where we can share our ideas to a group of people. And, I really want you guys to if you like this video I want you guys to share it or like it or subscribe subscribe my channel and even though we, if you are not in the gardening but maybe your neighbor your family your friends are into gardening so share that uh, with your friends and before we continue this video because there will be a tour a little bit tour in my in my garden so you want to see I want you guys to see my garden so I will tour you but before we continue this video I'm going to introduce you to the book this is backyard gardening the wiki grow system and it is a thin book but it has a lot of information inside the book and it is written by Greg Steven he is a aquaponics specialist he's also a Rosarian and he has his background in zoology so what he is doing is that he if there is a way to grow plants using hydroponics and soil so that's why he created that idea. He, he writes that idea and put it in a book so the people can see the book and learn the book or maybe apply the system. So if, I will put this one in the link and you can just click the link if you need a copy of this book. So uh, let's go ahead and join me to a tour. So this is my wiki grow garden so i'm going to give you a little bit tour of this system i grew here the lettuce and the, as you can see the lettuce is healthy in this uh, type of gardening and i also uh, grow the coriander so this is the cilantro so actually this is from the seeds in my kitchen because i use the spice to spice my my chicken stir fry and then the rest of the seeds i grow here in the wiki grow system and as you can see they grow wild they love this type of gardening and the bees love this flower so it attracts bees and uh, so as you can see there are a lot of cilantro in here so if i love cilantro so i am happy that i grow this one here and they are really good for stir fry or good for rice steam rice you just cook the rice and uh, chop the cilantro and also uh, put uh, a wedge of lemon and dash with paper and salt so that is delicious one of my friends asked me can you consume the flower or seeds I said sure you can because they're edible so you can the probably the seeds is one of the most nutritious uh, in the plant than the leaves so you can crush these uh, seeds now I'm going to show you the uh, kale so I also grow kale because I love kale and I would say that kale if kale is nutritious uh, greens to grow besides the watercress I also grow a lot about their crisp uh, watercress probably one of my number one nutritious uh, food and then the second one is kale so this is uh, how, how they grow here they are really healthy and happy in this environment I also grow uh, strawberry so this is the strawberry and i grew it in here and then this strawberry is going uh this baby down so i have to create i create a pvc in here and 
put my baby strawberry as you can see here I'm going to show you look at that <laughs> it's growing so this is how I propagate this strawberry this is the different kind of strawberry and I like this one because it's a a bigger fruit and I will do a video on how to grow uh, strawberry and what type of strawberry strawberry that you need to grow so as you can see the roots is this is ready to plant so I just put it in there so uh, this is open I mean I have to uh, finish this PVC I don't want this water opening in here and also my tomato as you can see the tomato it, this is beef stick tomato and I grew it in here in the wiki grow system as you can see the, the grow uh, taller and healthier and more greener and also I grow zucchini so as you can see that there's zucchini so you can grow I also grow a uh, uh, pea sweet pea so you can grow anything in this kind of system and I will give you the benefits when we're done at uh, the store I'll give you the benefits and what is great about this and what's the beauty behind it Okay, I'm going to uh, share with you a little bit information of the wiki growth system and how it works and what is the beauty behind it. Now, as you can see here, this is the pipe. It's connected to my main line, my water source. And then here is the switch off and on. So you turn it on if you need water. And as you can see, you can hear the water is rushing into the pipe. Now, here is the opening where I add my nutrients in here in the water and I install the float valve so this this float valve controls the amount of water so if the water reaches to the exact level so the valve stop it's almost like the same uh, it's almost like a toilet a toilet bowl when you flush in it uh, flush out the toilet it emptied then it also refills refill water so it's an autofill now I put cover of this uh, opening because you don't want the mosquito laying eggs in the water now here is the pot so I would recommend when you use the system don't use the regular plastic because regular plastic creates heat and also it is uh, root bound so use the sun pot I will put the link uh, in this video so you can just check out the link if you go into this type of gardening and anyway this is my best gardening one of the top gardening method that I use here in my garden and I have the seven alternative gardening techniques and I'm going to share with you guys but I don't want to put it in one video because it would take more than 20 hours to just video the whole seven methods of gardening so I will break it into uh, one uh, into series because you don't want to hear me talking and blah 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 in the video for 20 hours unless you want to listen me for that long but I will break it and again this is my number one gardening method that I'm going to share with you so you guys can apply this method because this is a good gardening and see see this so the plant can take two ways nutrients nutrients in the water and also nutrients in the soil so I had a video on how to make your own super soil mix so this is the recipe that I put it in here on this pot and I wish you I hope you guys you watch the video because it is a very informative video and if the cost is a problem you can cut your cost because it is expensive to have a soil less media it's cost a lot of money and if you if that is the problem so you can use 50 50 so 50 percent topsoil and 50 percent soil mix but i would highly recommend to use the uh strictly the soil less media so these are all soil less media and i added my recipe in here i have bone meal um, Epsom salt, blood meal, worm casting, and any other nutrients that I added in here. As you can see, this uh, kale is healthy in here. Now, what is the beauty uh, beauty behind it? Now, the beauty of this uh, plant is that it is above the ground. So when you harvest your produce, you are standing, especially if you have a back pain and you still want to continue gardening. So there, this is type of garden that you you want to go into it and also the plants is healthy the using this type of gardening it makes you grow more plants healthier and also it is tasty because you have both ways you do the water and also the soil now you can take a vacation that is the beauty of it you can take two weeks vacation without worrying your plants that might die from drying out so it is calculated at 100 50 gallon of brain water that is in this tube so it's 
my estimate. And as I mentioned, so you can take a vacation without worrying it. And I also um, th uh, thank you for those people who grow natural, grow organic, and I would recommend you guys to uh, go into natural grown because what you grow is what you eat. So these are all natural. I favor uh, using organic because I want my family to eat food that it is uh, or naturally grown. And I know that's the good thing for gardening because I know what I grow and I know what I put it in there, what materials I added. So I know exactly what I put on the plate. So if those of you who are not into gardening, so I would recommend you guys, maybe encourage you guys to grow food, you know, and it is really a good thing. And besides that, it, I, it is also a good exercise for you. Now, what is the another benefits of using this gardening? It is above the ground and then it, is, it keeps from other animals or creatures attacking your plants or eating your plants like rabbit or raccoon or or groundhog so it keeps them from getting into your garden because it's above the label and it's also it's controlled and that is the beauty of this uh, plant so i grow a lot of plants you can grow any kind of plants in this system and even roses uh, i grow roses i grow hydrangea i grow citrus in this uh, type of gardening because those plants are uh, water consume a lot of water so it minimizes your water delivering to the plants so it is continuously you know feeding water in the plants and also it has an exact amount of nutrients that the plant need and also make sure that the system is level because if it is not level if it is off so not of this so part of the plants might not get water so you have to make sure that it is in the right level so now that I know I give you the benefits of having this system so I'm going to show you so join me to the table I'm going to show you how to make a sun pot you how to create your own sun pot so join me to the table so uh, I'm going to show you guys how I uh, made my sun pot so here as you can see here I have this uh, sun pot this is only a display uh, it is used pot but I just want to share with you. So as you can see here, the bottom of this pot, I cut slit on it. And here is the basket. So what I do is, I have this basket. So all these products that I'm mentioning here in, in this video, I'm going to link it. So you can just check the link if you need this product, if you want to into uh, hydroponics. So this is the pot, the uh, basket. So what you do is just wrap it in the weed guard. The purpose of wrapping in the weed guard is to or keep the cocoa fiber from uh, going into the water so you need to cover your baskets just like that and then as you can see here I'm going to show you here this is the uh, cocoa fiber and see it doesn't the fiber doesn't go out and uh, also when you put this uh, cocoa fiber you need to wet them so you create a like a bowl and then insert in here in the basket now here is the lid of the bucket so I made a hole in here you can get a bucket in Home Depot it's not that uh, expensive it's only like three dollars and you use the lid and then create a hole in here that fits with your basket so just like that now I will insert it in here in the bag So just like that, I want to focus the camera so you can see, so see that, so that's the way how, uh, so uh, that's the way how you put inside. Now I'm going to uh, put the uh, basket in here, make sure that the bar basket is all the way, so here you go, so that's the basket. Now when you use this pot, you need to use the uh, potting mix don't put a regular soil because it doesn't uh, wick the you know the soil properly so I use this super mix I hope you guys watch my my video on how to make your own super soil so this is part of the super soil that I made is everything nutrients everything in there the blood meal bone meal uh, the uh, worm casting 
and Epson, so I put everything in there so the plants can take uh, both ways, nutrients, nutrients in the soil and also nutrients in the water so your plants will grow uh, bigger and also it, it tastes better because it is between hydroponics and soil. So this is how, we, how you do it and then make sure that when you start, when you put it in here in this pot, you have to water them to start. You need you need to water this soil. So if you water them, it's easy for, for your wick to properly wick uh, fa faster. So don't just soak it in there. Just, don't just sit in the PVC that it is dry. So you have to start it by uh, watering the pot first and then you put that on the tube. So uh, that's the way how I made my sun pot. So this is the video for today and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you have any problems in your garden or any concern that you would want to know, just write me a comment below on this video. I really want to interact with you guys. I am there for you. That's why I created this channel so I can share my ideas to you, uh, my ideas about gardening. So again, comment. It is the reason that I would like you to do a comment on the video because I know which area that I'm working on and if you have uh, questions I can work with the question and help you out and that is the good thing about communicating with you guys I really want to interact with you so this is the video for today and thank you for watching and see you on my next video bye bye